Hello, welcome back to Repton ripping around Queen Victoria's streets. So we start off in a house where our house is as well. I don't know, some kind of uh, transcendental paradox kind of thing going on here. Now we could kill that rat with that uh, those barrels as they drop off our head. And it's quite a nice mouse trap, well rat trap. Uh, but we've got a better idea. We can deal with it later on. So coming round here, we'll pop round the top way and we see, oh, there's four transporters. And uh, yes, first one leads us into here and we don't need to get back out of there so we can drop those down there. Past a nice row of houses going up here. Make sure not to get a barrel roll on our head here. And then we need to connect this house to the outside because you can see there's a couple of, uh, well, there's the um, phone box just in there, which we let this copper out. And he's not going to go in there, he's going to go into the other one that's up there first. And pop and grab the crown jewels from down here. And then deal with these rats in a quick manner. We're not done with the rats yet, there's another one over here. Take that, you dirty rat. And Repton's managed to block a coin there, but he finds a way to grab it. So now we come underneath into the transporters again. Now we've got to be careful how we transport here, because that one leads to there, and that one leads to there. Taking them in the wrong order obviously means you're going to end up landing on a teleporter and injuring yourself. So this is the easier way to deal with that rat, just pop that across here, and then we go home to Repton's house within a house. Okay, we can see quite a lot of uh, police boxes around here to start off with, and there's a central area where there's some factories surrounded by some uh, coins. And we've got to be pretty quick on this level, time limit's a bit low. So we've let a load of spirits out there, and we're being chased by another one here. And we kind of block him off here, and this is the phone box he needs to go into, so we kind of make it available again be careful not to block it off when we're collecting these other barrels. There's only so much we can do before we have to wait for the copper to come by. And obviously he's going to go in there, but there's another policeman down here because we've got to get him into this one. Now we could uh, do all the stuff at the top there and then wait down at the bottom afterwards, but I think it might be a tiny bit faster this way, plus we're not stood around waiting. So we're on meandering back to the transporter here. We end up in the top area and we kind of rush across, make this phone box available over here. We can see lots of free factories around here, and yes, they do spread like this here, which is quite useful actually because there was a copper running around one of these places and this spreading kind of joins them up to the outside. So that phone box we made available is going to be taken up by that one uh, policeman. By the time we get back round, there we go. So we can pop through the transport here, and we're in a little area with a rat in a can. And always, oh, yes, we're running out of time, so we grab our bottle from there. So we lead the rat down, and oh dear, he didn't go behind there, so we have to find some other way to deal with him. And yes, when we collected the key, all these barrels fell down and linked up the spirits to the outside. So we just grab the remaining coins from around here now. And yes, we have to take this transporter up here to get the one coin that's left behind it. Unfortunately, the factories haven't spread so far here. Thank God for this slow 
movement of industrial progress. So now Repton's house is in a bad position, surrounded by all these factories, he's going to have to move somewhere else. Okay, so we're kind of making a little pathway up here, and we're making this phone box join to the outside. And we dodge the coppers and then pop down into the transporter here, which leads us into an enclosed area with three coppers, three phone boxes, and not too many things to push around, but we uh, deal with this one first. And shove our rat around in his bin over there. in quite a handy place to deal with this other rat and uh, nicely done we come out of here now so we see here we've got to be pretty quick to come into this area because these factories are going to spread otherwise You can still see the coppers running around because they need to come through this blockage here. Now we pop into here because where our gas lamp is, and strange thing, if you Repton shuffle the egg like that, it doesn't break. Of course, until when you need it to. So we grab these things, uh, no chance the factory is really spreading in our way there. And the police leaving all their money lying around the streets here. But we've still got a couple of coppers up there, but they're not too difficult to get to their position. But what we have got to be aware of here is dropping these barrels down as not to block our way back through here because we will need to get to our house at the end. So we only drop a few down there in a very controlled fashion. So we've got the coppers here and uh, one phone box not too difficult to get to, another phone box not difficult to get to at all. So. There we go, go on your beat. And then we can uh, let the factory spread as far as it wants to over here now. Okay, that's it for now. See you next episode.